we want to thank you, uh, the, all the members, for the, your loyalty and commitment despite the challenges that we have faced from a few uh, noisy uh, naysayers who have tried to rock the party from within. Fortunately, they have failed. And we can now see that they have opted for a shameful and undignified exit. They have now taken to running around the country trying to sell snake oil to unsuspecting Kenyans. We are here to tell Kenyans, beware. As we head to the 2022 elections, our members have been calling for rebranding, restructuring and revitalization of the party with a view to making it stronger and more vibrant. The Jubilee Party has heeded his call. We are in the process of a major, carefully planned and unprecedented revamp that will send a message to our detractors. Be very afraid. We already know they are afraid, but be very afraid. More details on this will be availed during the upcoming Jubilee National Delegates uh, Convention, the NDC. However, what is not in question is the fact that all Kenyans, including the noisy brigade going around the country, acknowledge the fact that Jubilee has delivered to Kenyans. In fact, even our key detractors want to take credit for the work that has been done while they were making noise. As a result of this unprecedented development record, Jubilee has positioned itself as the fulcrum of the next administration. With its formidable experience in government, this party has proven that it is best suited to galvanize like-minded Kenyans and to lead Kenyans to a future of prosperity. This morning, or this afternoon now, we would like to inform our members and the country at large that the party plans to hold an NDC within this month of November 2021 to deliberate on the process of restructuring our party and the party leadership to reflect the aspiration of members. In the same breath, we are happy to announce that Jubilee has cleaned house at local and national level and shaken off most of the bad elements who have been undermining the party, including, unfortunately, none other than the now estranged deputy party leader, William Samoe Ruto. During this cleanup, we have borrowed from Matthew 5, uh, verses 30, which says, and I'm sure you know, if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off and cast it from you. As Kenyans will agree, if you have one hand that is uh, gangrenous, we rancid infection of corruption and malice, you really have no choice but to amputate it. As a party, we will swallow any bit of pill that is only, if that is the only guarantee for a better, healthier, and more robust party. We will do what we have to do to protect our legacy as a ruling party for 10 years and as a party transition.